Our top lead this evening. Will he? Won't he? Will Rahul Gandhi fight elections from Amethi? Now that question is a continuing mystery even as we stand on the eve of the general elections. Today, as Samajwadi Party Chief Akhilesh Yadav and Rahul Gandhi came together in Uttar Pradesh as a show of strength and unity, Mr. Gandhi did answer that question. There was no straight yes or no, but he did seem to indicate that he will. He said, I'm a soldier and whatever the party decides, I will do. Listen in. लोग तो गुजरात छोड़कर पीएम बनने के लिए बनारस आते हैं आप बाय नाइट चले गए तो क्या अमेठी या रायबरेली से आप ये ये बीजेपी वाला क्वेश्चन है ये पसरकार का सवाल है पहले ओपनिंग ओपनिंग बॉल ओपनिंग बॉल बीजेपी क्वेश्चन वेरी गुड शाबाश देखिए अमेठी की बात कांग्रेस प्रेसिडेंट का डिसीजन है जो भी मुझे ऑर्डर मिलेगा मैं वो करूंगा सीसी मीटिंग हमारे हमारी पार्टी में सीसी मीटिंग्स में ये डिसीजन लिए जाते हैं। बट पहला बीजेपी का क्वेश्चन, गुड क्वेश्चन, थैंक यू। सो नो स्ट्रेट यस और नो, बट देर इज इनफ इंडिकेशन दैट हिज नेम विल बी डिक्लेयर्ड फ्रॉम अमेठी वंस इलेक्शंस इन वायनाड आर ओवर ऑन द 26थ। राहुल गांधी हैज वन अमेठी थ्री his track record in 2024. She is not an opponent to be taken lightly and has been chiding him for running away from Amethi. Now that is a charge that the Congress simply cannot afford to stick given that Amethi has always been a stronghold of the Congress party. A Gandhi has won this seat 11 times. So you simply cannot abandon what is seen as a family bastion, especially if that bastion falls in a political heavyweight state like Uttar Pradesh that sends 80 MPs to the Lok Sabha. Just remember they had won only one seat in Uttar Pradesh last time and that was the seat of Rai Bareilly. This time the Congress party is fighting on 17 seats in alliance with the India bloc. But as Rahul Gandhi continues to be reticent, there's another family member, Robert Wadra, who has thrown his hat in the ring, not once, but multiple times now. पूरे देश के हर कोने से चल रही है पुकार है वो मेरी मेहनत को समझते हैं जो मेरा धार्मिक दौरा होता है उसको भी समझते हैं और वो चाहते हैं कि मैं उनको रिप्रेजेंट करूं उनके क्षेत्र से आऊं और उनकी प्रगति हो और जो भी उनकी समस्या है उसका उसका समाधान मैं ढूंढूंगा मैं चाहे मैं राजनीति में हूं या नहीं हूं चाहे मैं राजनीति में हूं या ना हूं पर मैं मेहनत करता रहूंगा और देश के लिए देश के लोगों के लिए और एक सेक्युलर गवर्नमेंट मेरी सोच वो है नाउ इट विल बी इंटरेस्टिंग टू सी इफ रॉबर्ट वाड्रा इज इंडीड गिवन अ टिकट बाय द कांग्रेस पार्टी द कांग्रेस ऑन इट्स पार्ट इज क्लेमिंग दैट द बीजेपी विल नॉट इवन क्रॉस 150 mark, the 150 mark across the country. मैं सीट का प्रेडिक्शन तो नहीं करता हूँ। जनरल बात कह सकता हूँ कि बीजेपी को मुझे लग रहा था 15-20 दिन पहले कि 180 से 180 तक जाएंगे, अब मुझे लग रहा है 150 तक जाएंगे। uh, हर स्टेट में हमें रिपोर्ट मिल रही है कि हमारा चुनाव इंप्रूव कर रहा है और अंडर करंट है uh, जहां तक गठबंधन की बात है यूपी गठबंधन की बात है बड़ा पावरफुल गठबंधन है uh, और बहुत अच्छा परफॉर्मेंस होगा हमारा उत्तर प्रदेश में A quick chat with my guest this evening, Dr. Dharendra Tayal is a BJP leader joining us on the broadcast. Sanjay Jha is an author. Thank you very much. Madhavan Narayan is a senior journalist joining us as well with his perspective. Gentlemen, thank you very much. This is going to be a 15-minute chat. Who should I start with? Maybe I should start with Sanjay Jha. Sanjay Jha, first things first. Who will fight from Amethi? Why is that a question that is a BJP question? You know, I, 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 Rahul Gandhi has almost made it a habit of uh, of casting journalists who ask him questions, especially uncomfortable questions as BJP agents. W was that the way to deal with the question? I think, uh, you know, I think what he basically is 
probably trying to communicate is that there are many serious issues in this election and that wherever he stands from is mm -hmm. probably not as relevant uh, given the fact that there are some very serious challenges that the Indian people are currently facing. But I do believe, uh, to answer your question, mm -hmm. that I think Rahul is likely to contest from Amethi. I think, uh, you know, my, my mm -hmm. experience of having been to Amethi is that the last election result was a stunning surprise. Now, obviously, there must have been reasons why, you know, Smithy Rani won it. But I have also got the sense that the people of Amethi will never give up uh, on the Gandhi family because there is an extraordinary history of a relationship that is not just, you know, about electing Rahul Gandhi three times, but goes back to his uh, family. And I do believe that Rahul will want to never lose that contact or that depth of equation. And I think he will contest Amethi. But Sanjay Jha, in that case, why not go up front way, be be uh, way, you know, way before the polls have been announced and say, OK, uh, forget Vainar, I am contesting from Amethi this time and I'll only contest from Amethi this time. No, Look, sure, it's I don't not think just so. Amethi and a family bastion that you have to protect. Uh, it is the state of Uttar Pradesh where yeah, you had absolutely. won exactly one seat out of 80. No, no, I, I agree with you that the Congress is... Uh you know, gradual and finally a very catastrophic collapse, collapse in Uttar Pradesh is something that the party needs to be perturbed about as to when do you create a turnaround? I mean, when is that going to happen? But he's been a very popular candidate for Vainar. He won with a record margin of over, I think, 4 lakh 30,000 votes. Uh, I do think that that sent out a very hmm. positive message in the southern part of India about Congress's commitment to standing up for the idea of India, which for whatever reasons didn't click in the Hindi heartland. But obviously, I agree with you that in politics, in especially as a pan-India party, you're not localized to one particular region or state. And I think the Congress has to send out a message that, you know, we are serious about, you know, not ignoring a Hindi heartland, which actually, surprisingly, many analysts mm -hmm. seem to believe is a done deal for the BJP, which it is not. You know, so I do think that this election is still up in the air. And I think for Rahul Gandhi to contest from mm. Amethi, and let me add, for Priyanka Gandhi Vadra to actually mm. battle it out in Rai Bareilly, will send out a very positive message, will inspire and galvanize the Congress cadre and voters across the country. And it will also send out a message that, you know, the BJP mm. is not going to have any easy ridings or a cakewalk in any constituency in the northern part of India. Uh, the, the 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 question is: Will Priyanka Gandhi make a poll debut in Raiburi? By the looks of it, highly uncertain because uh, you know no one in the Congress seems to be talking about it. People in the Congress are speaking about Rahul Gandhi contesting from Amethi, but things are mum as far as Priyanka Gandhi and Raiburi is concerned. And remember, that is the only seat that the Congress had won in the elections last time in Uttar Pradesh. Dr. Tayal, come in here. All this while you are saying Bhagya, Bhagya, Rahul Gandhi, Darpok hai. Ek har ke baad south mein bhaag gaya. Wo to nahi bhaaga. By the looks of it, he's fighting the elections in Amethi as well. Now what happens to your narrative of him being a bhagoda? So as yet, he hasn't come back. So I don't know how you have already decided mm -hmm. that the narrative is over if there was such a narrative. Number one. Number two, obviously with the mm -hmm. Congress... Of course there was. Uh, Roj to sound bite chare the. Sorry? So I'm saying, the, sir, Congress, almost sir, every day, Smithy Irani has been saying the same thing in Amethi. That he's run away, he's run away, yeah, he's he, not fighting here. He says, why not is his family, is Amethi not is his family. Obviously, that was the narrative, ki ye bhagoda hai bhag gaya south mein, ek har ke baad. Now, what happens to that narrative, sir? Now, nothing has changed. I think it is just a... a, 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 a uh, you know, something of, of, of falsification which is happening, something to hide behind. You know, as they said earlier, Rahul Gandhi submitted his resignation to Rahul Gandhi, who after careful consideration decided not to accept it to Rahul Gandhi, so Rahul Gandhi continued. So it is the same sort of a thing. Everybody knows who decides mm -hmm. the seats, in uh, who decides the tickets in Congress. Mm -hmm. So let us not talk about it. And to say that I am leaving it to the party or the party will command karegi, I will go to a Amethi and contest as a soldier of the party. But unfortunately, the party did not ask me to contest from Amethi. 
So what could I do as a soldier? I had to accept. Mm -hmm. They uh, very after a, a lot of careful consideration, they selected another minority dominated seat from me because this time it is very uncertain whether I'm winning why not because I have got two really heavyweight candidates against me, or one of whom was supporting me the last time. So why not be danger me? The important part here is what is the background of this whole thing? The background of the whole thing is the larger picture is that the ownership of the private limited company is in danger. Now, which is why Sonia Ji quickly moved to Rajya Sabha, because if you are no longer the president of the party also, and the Gandhi is not in the parliament also, you could lose the ownership of that private limited company that you've been running for so long. And Rai Bareilly certainly is not doing that. I mean, uh, uh, there is some data which I had to put forward, uh, going by, I've done some statistical analysis, and going by that, to 2024, I'm giving you my projection, statistical analysis, Congress will get 5,24,000 votes in uh, Rai Bareilly, and BJP will get 6,7,000 votes. So Rai Bareilly is the last thing. And this is based on uh, trend analysis, the details of which I can share. So the basic problem here is, that if he contests both the seats, Vayanad and Amethi, and loses both, it is terrible for the Gandhi family. He will have to, while they are talking about, let us not talk religion, very carefully selecting a minority-dominated seat to go and contest from, although their uh, uh, manifesto talks, the first thing it talks about is not the politics of religion, but please give me a minority-dominated seat. My guess would be they would be looking at another minority-dominated seat for Rahul Gandhi to somehow get him into the parliament. As far as UP is concerned, and like everything else, Congress party has abandoned UP, they've built UP, and trying to look for something. The way they're okay. going south, I think they're going to be very happy for the Ram Setu, Doc because they contested it, like you Ram Setu hi bachayega, Kerala se niche Ram Setu tak jayenge. You're saying something, sorry. Acha, no, but the point is, the, the, the point is that you are saying that uh, Vainad is also khatre mein. How is Vainad khatre mein? I mean, we know that Vainad is not khatre mein. Amethi, yes, there's a question mark. If he decides to fight, uh, is he in a position to win Amethi? That is a question that you can ask because uh, the BJP is very strong in Uttar Pradesh. Uh, fact also is that Smriti Irani is not a candidate that you can take lightly. The fact also is, Ma Madhavan Narayan, that uh, Rahul Gandhi has not done himself any favors. How many times well, I... has he visited Amethi? After losing the seat, eight minute. How many times has he visited Amethi after losing the seat? Exactly three times. What do you make of today's statement? How do you interp interpret well, what he um, said today? Shreya, let's. Yeah, I think let's. I think we are in the business of say not just interpreting what he said, but the context mm -hmm. in which he is speaking mm -hmm. and the other things that are being said in the context mm -hmm. and what it really means beyond the obvious. Mm -hmm. We have to read between the lines and hear between the words to really get the import of what we are saying. First of all, we have to understand that the BJP is an incredibly well-organized party with strong resources and Correct. the strongest show uh, uh, of the BJP is in Gujarat and Uttar Pradesh. So we are looking at a game theory situation mm -hmm. in which there has, be a, there has to be a matching of wits. My reading is that Rahul Gandhi is keeping the BJP guessing and it's part, you know, the tactic here is also Correct. to waste the resources of the opponent. You know, will he, won't he? Let them do the guessing. That is one thing he's doing. The second thing I want to interpret, I'm sticking my neck out here, is that Robert Vadra's talking about contesting from not only Amethi, but also possibly Muradabad, Haryana. I would say, personally, my opinion is that that would be mm. a pretty bad for the Congress because Rahul Gandhi, Robert Vadra is a liability given a lot of the cases that he's faced, and that would be an opportunity for the BJP. And I would not be surprised if uh, even Robert Vadra is being kept guessing by the Congress party uh, with Rahul talking about Amethi as a possibility, because uh, you can always fire your bullets from the party's shoulders. You know, we can't take mm. at face value Rahul Gandhi mm. saying, I'll go by what the party says. We all know from history that the party goes by what True. his family says. Mm. If we for evidence to suggest something else, hmm. okay? So therefore, it's a match, uh, with matching game within the Congress and between the Congress and hmm. the BJP. So we have to look 
absolutely obvious. We also have to consider the okay. fact that in Vainar, the CPI has put up a candidate, mm -hmm. which is a bit of an embarrassment given the India alliance and the left being in, uh, you know, uh, an alliance mm -hmm. while it comes to. So I think, but I also want to point out that the last, last uh, election, 2019, the victory margin was 55,000 for Smriti Rani, but uh, Rahul Gandhi polling a very handsome 44 percent mm -hmm. of the votes. And this, there was no uh, uh, Samajwadi party. Today we we saw. Today was a historic day. I have never seen Akhilesh Yadav and Rahul Gandhi sitting together at a press conference. Anybody who knows UP politics will read much significance into this. And let us not forget that even in the assembly elections that was swept by BJP. Mm -hmm. under Yogi Adityanath, Samajwadi Party won 37 percent of the votes. Mm -hmm. Samajwadi Party has a very strong vote share okay. in uh, UP and particularly in central UP, which is where Amethi is. Now, all this doesn't make it a cakewalk okay. for Ra Rahul Gandhi, but it gives us a game theory situation mm -hmm. where Amit Shah and company will be mm -hmm. kept guessing till the last moment. And that is one of the uh, okay. tactics that the Congress is using. Okay, so essentially you're telling me that this is these are psyops that Rahul Gandhi has launched Sorry. on the BJP. Sanjay Jha, I have 20 seconds. I'm giving you the last word. Uh, you know, just going back to Rahul Gandhi's statement today, I'm a loyal soldier of the party. I will do as the party commands. The fact is all of us know that he is the commander of the party. He is not a loyal soldier. He is a commander. Essentially, he will decide whether he wants to fight a Amethi or not. So, so a yes or a no uh, would have helped, would have been helpful. That didn't come forth. But I think Shreya, I think Ma, I think Madhav, Madhavan has actually put it in perspective. The truth is, you are absolutely right. I mean, huh. this is going to be the call of Priyanka Gandhi Vadra and Rahul. This is the Gandhi family's very personal call, and uh, because of the association with the people hmm. there. So, end of day, no denying that. However, I think one of the privileges of being in public life also is that you're not obliged to answer every question. You do like to keep your reserve. And tactically, mm -hmm. it is also to kind of keep mm -hmm. the, you know, the why not voting will happen. And I think, you know, also kind of keep the voters there excited about Rahul's coming in. And I think the BJP clearly at this point mm -hmm. is anxious because for them, they have made it into some kind of a objective that we need to demolish the Gandhis from Uttar Pradesh. And that, by the way, is not going to be an easy one the second time round. Well, it's happened in 2019. So we'll see what happens in 2024. Uh, Dr. Tayal, thank you very much. Sanjay Jha, thank you very much. Yeah. Madhavan Narayan, thank you very much. This was a short Online. chat. Good to get your perspective. I'm done. I'm done. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, 10 seconds in case anyone has to say anything. Was it Dr. Tayal? Go ahead. 10 seconds. So only I want to say what is the tactic in this and how is the BJP anxious? We've already announced our candidate. So what else are we supposed to do? How are we anxious and what is the tactic? There is no anxiety. There is there is no tactic. Sorry. Doesn't bite. Thank okay. you. Okay. Madhavan is saying no. Mr. Narayan, yeah. uh, uh, 10 seconds we, and we, we can wrap we, this. Uh, we are not running a constituency-wise campaign, certainly not Mr. Modi and the BJP. They want the battle of the narratives. And mm -hmm. if you see Priyanka Gandhi's uh, interview mm -hmm. today, they are trying to shift the agenda in the narrative. So it's a na whatever happens in Amity is a national event. Let's be very clear. Absolutely. And therefore... Unless ask Rahul Gandhi the question, are you fighting from Amethi or not? It's not a BJP question. It's a question that many people, including me, once answered. And I'm certainly not the BJP. We'll leave it there for the moment. Dr. Tayal, thank you very much. Sanjay Jha, thank you very much. And Madhavan Narayan, thank you very much for joining us. Ladies and gentlemen, on that note, a quick break. Coming up next, a very special interview. That's coming up next. Do stay with us.